Hi, this is Tammy Lear. We are live at ISC West in beautiful Las Vegas, Nevada, and we're sitting here with Mr. Gordon Hope and we're in the SIA studio. And Mr. Hope, he's the general manager of Honeywell's AlarmNet, the nationwide leader in alarm communications technology since 1989. And Mr. Hope, he is also the chairman of the SIA Board of Directors. Welcome, Mr. Hope. Welcome, thank Very you. Good. Thank you for being here with us. Like every other sector, Mr. Hope, in the security industry, um, there have been some very challenging economic times. And uh, what, what are we facing now? Have things come, you know, come together for us? That's a great question. From, from SIA's perspective, we see that the economy is turning around. Now, we're not saying it's turned around 100%, but we are seeing that it's turned around from 2008 and 2009. Um, economic times are definitely on the rebound. And the interesting thing to note about the security industry is it traditionally weathers these storms quite well, and this has been no, no, no exception as well. It's done very well in these times. And that has shown up to be true because you've seen just a, an increase in all the, all the activity within the security industry. Would that be fair? Yes, and we're also seeing great turnout at the show here, a uh, lot of buzz, a lot of excitement. Uh, we're looking really forward to a great week. And do you see that this gives you a sense of what it means for the security industry, the fact that there is such an amazing turnout? I mean, could that just look really great for the security industry and all of us, really? I think that people are cautiously optimistic about where things are. They'd like to see the security industry do better. They're here because they want to see the new technology and how it applies to their businesses. And it's just a, a very encouraging time for all of us. Very good. And you're actively involved. You're the chairman of the board for SIA. Mm -hmm. What specific, and also with your, your team at Honeywell, what specifically does, uh, does SIA do for the security industry, Mr. Hope? That's a great question. SIA looks at itself as a beacon in times of challenge. And what do I mean by that? When companies are trying to make decisions about what they're going to do in the future, they need to go to many different places to get information to help them make those decisions. And with the changing times and the pace of change, SIA becomes a beacon for helping them get that information they need in a timely fashion and help them make those tough decisions. So what do you think the biggest challenges are in, in, that are facing the security in industry on that? In That's that a respect? great question. From both SIA's chair and as well as my business I run at Honeywell, I'd say the biggest challenges and changes we see are in the area of fundamental communications whether it's the telephone lines that are being taken out at a frightful rate in this country or the enhanced growth in portable devices and cellular communications plus a younger age people buying systems you put those all together and it forces everybody to really step up their marketing efforts and learn how to sell and pick that technology and pick those spaces and SIA is a very much a go-to place to help them do that so as time evolves, like in the next five, ten years, what do you see evolving? I mean, it seems that everything has, you know, has been created. Every time we turn around, there's a new technology that has been invented, created. What do you see? Where do you see the security industry evolving to in the next five, ten years? That's a great question. Uh, I see it as the security industry is going to be about secure data, number one, and in making sure this is true to its mission, which is life safety. Uh, it, very often we, we get uh, led astray by all the fringe issues that might affect our industry. So life, life safety, uh, taking care of our families and places of business will still be paramount and center. But I think we will see a tremendous difference in the number of people that are participating in this and the composition of our industry. It's going to be a different formulation of companies that are in this space than there are today. So when that change occurs and change and, and, and things are evolving, how do you see SIA playing a, an active role in helping people understand what that means and that change? That's a great question. One of the things that helps bolster that question is SIA's membership itself. SIA's membership is now much broader than it ever was before. It used to be made up of just manufacturing companies that made hardware. Today, it's made up of software companies, integrators, people that put things together and make solutions, as well as pure software companies, uh, even common carriers like Sprint are now members of the SIA family. And I think it speaks to the fact that the industry is broadening and security is going to play a much more core front and center uh, role 
in almost all of our lives. So in essence, what SIA represents to the end user and the individuals affiliated, it's, it's, it, it practices what it preaches basically. It is the secure mechanism for, it's the go-to for all facets of security. Is that fair to say? Yes, and we okay. want to make that it brand. that way. I mean, okay. that's, that's our charter, that's our mission. We keep working hard to make sure that our services and the pillars that we stand for deliver that value, that information, that go-to source to help people really understand what information is available, what two new technologies are out right. there, and then how to put them all together and make so sense of it. So how do you, Mr. Hope, how do you measure success when you look at this uh, evolving time and you look at people, you know, you see that they're happy. How do you measure a successful program over a year's period of time? It's a great question. When <laughs> I think anybody who takes this job as chairman has it for a couple of years and they right. hand it on to somebody else. <laughs> I think the measurement is whether or not you've been able to progress from where you started. I don't think there's a, an always a perfect beginning or a perfect end. You just want to make sure that the association and the things that you've put in place have evolved and you've taken the next step. And I believe we've done that very, very well. Very good. Thank you so much for joining us today in our studio. Thank we you. appreciate it. Again, Mr. Gordon Hope with Honeywell and also Chairman of SIA. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much.